Hi, welcome back to Tom's Life. Today's Sunday special is bacon and lentil soup. So the ingredients you need are lentils, a pack of bacon, one onion, one leek, one carrot, two small potatoes, one beef stock cube, ground salt and ground black pepper. First step to do is to prep all your ingredients. I'm going to start off with the bacon. So what you want to do is you first want to open your pack of bacon. I'm going to use half a pack. So I'm using five slices. You put them together and you just want to finally slice them using your sharp knife. You're just breaking through. Always remember to move your fingers after cutting them, the pieces, so you don't cut your finger. And once you've got nice slices like that, you're going to get a little mixing bowl. You're going to place them all in. You do the rest, and then you'll fry them when you start cooking. Next step. You're going to prep your leek. You first want to chop your ends off. And you want to peel off the top layer. Then you'll chop it in half and finally slice it. So you want to carefully hold it and slice down the middle. Be careful you don't cut yourself. And then you just want to finally slice it. Then you want to get a mixing bowl and place it all in. And then you'll slice your other half a leek. So next step, we're going to prep our onion. You're going to first chop your ends off. I like to flatten it so it's more easier. I'm only going to use half an onion because it's a big onion. But if you can get small onions, use a full onion. But if you get a big one, you want to use just half. So now I'm going to chop my other end off. And you want to finally peel two layers of the skin. And then you will finally slice it and dice it. So after when you are peeled and chop your, chop your end off your onion, you first want to slice it. Then you want to turn it around. And you want to finally dice it into little pieces. Always remember to move your fingers out the way. And once you've got nice little pieces, you're also going to place that in with your leek. But like I said, it's up to you if you get a small or big onion, how much you use. So next you're going to start peeling up two potatoes to get all the skin off. You just want to get two small potatoes, then we'll finally dice them, and this will thicken the soup, so you don't have to add any cream, so it'll be a bit healthy. So you're just getting all the way round, and always give it a little tap if any peels get stuck in your sharp peeler. So you just keep moving it around, getting all that skin off.
Once you have peeled your two potatoes, you first want to chop it down the middle in half again. And you just want to finely slice them. If they stick, you just got to give them a little bit more force from all the starch in your potatoes. I'll show you how I did that. First chop down the middle and you just want to finely slice them. Not too small but not too big. Then you're going to get a little mixing bowl. You're going to place them in. You do your other potato and then you'll prep your carrot. Next step, you're going to prep your carrot. You first chop your ends off. So once you have chopped your ends off, you want to start peeling it up and down, moving it around. So you're getting all the skin off your carrot. Be careful on the sharp blade. And once again, if any skin gets stuck, just give a little tap on your sharp blade. Keep moving it around. So once you have peeled and chopped your ends off your carrot, you want to carefully cut it down the middle. And again, so in half. And then you just want to finally dice them into little pieces like that. i show you again how I did that. First cut it down the middle, then slice it, always remember to move them fingers out the way, it's up to you how speed you go. Once you have got nice little pieces, you're going to get your potato, your bowl in with your potatoes and you're going to place your carrots in there and then you will do your other half a carrot. So next step. We're going to put some hot water in a medicine jug and you want to open your beef stock cube and you want to start giving that a stir so it evaporates. Do this for a minute or two. So it all evaporates in the water. Give it a good stir. Next step, we're going to switch on the hob. You want to set it to high. And you want to get a big saucepan. You want to place it on the ring. Let that just preheat before you start frying your bacon. So next step, you're going to add in your bacon to your frying pan you're going to get a wooden spoon we'll just start breaking that apart give this a good brown so you just want to keep browning it for a few minutes so it goes nice and crispy and give some flavour into the pan because this is plain bacon I'm using. You can also get smoked bacon. For this recipe you need to get unsmoked bacon. I just want to break it apart. Then you add in your leeks and onion so they can sweat. And get some flavour. Then you add in your diced carrots and potatoes, your stock, then your lentils so they don't stick to the pan. So once you add the stock in, you then you add in the lentils, then you add in some seasoning, 
Now you want to start adding your onions and leeks to your unsmoked bacon. Give them a good toss. Get all the way round so they can start to sweat and bring out flavour. Next step, you want to add in your carrots and potatoes. You want to give them a little bit of stir. So you're giving them a little bit of a stir so they can add in the flavour on the bacon, onions and leeks. When you add in your stock, the lentils and seasoning. So don't want to use any little bits of bacon or onion get stuck on the bottom because you add in your stock in a minute. And today I'm making bacon and lentil soup. So I'm making bacon and lentil soup today. But if you don't like bacon and lentil, I've got all I've got all different other soup recipes on my YouTube channel. If you'd like to have a look, so it's up to you. Now you want to pour in your stock. Just give that a little bit of a stir. Get it all the way round. Any little bit should come up now. And then when I add in the lentils and seasoning, we're going to put the lid on so we can so we can bu bubble and cook and thicken up. But don't worry about your potatoes and carrots because when you put the lid on, they will steam and go nice and soft. So you just want to try and get everything up off the pan. Now you want to add in half a pack of lentils. Give them a little bit of a stir in. So they get all the way round. Now you want to add in some ground black pepper. And you just want to add in a little tiny bit of ground salt. If we were using smoky bacon, we wouldn't add any salt in, but this is this is this is unsmoked bacon, so we're just seasoning our bacon and lentil soup. You're going to put the lid on, let it boil for 15 to 20 minutes, so you cook your lentils and your potatoes and carrots go nice and soft. And then it's up to you if you want to blitz it or keep it nicely together so you can see everything what's in your soup. And then you serve it up and if you want you can have some crusty bread with it. Now you're going to put the lid on. Let that boil for 15 to 20 minutes. And then you can either blitz it or serve it up where you can see all what you've put in it and that's up to you and this is how you make my bacon and lentil soup so i put it all in a bowl and don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe and thank you thanks for watching 
Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming soon.